So for example, there is a lending industry in the world called the payday loan industry. They make they loan $200 to a person, and if they have to take the whole time period and pay 300% interest to pay it back, they pay back $700. So take one example. Why is it that this supposedly Christian nation allows the payday loan industry to even operate in America? And why is it that churches do not boycott and protest and surround these payday loan industry places and name them for the oppressive thing that they are toward the poor. It's like a roadkill. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like we're vultures circling around the roadkill of poverty. It's already bad enough that you're poor. Then you extract even more money from a poor person to loan them money in their desperation than you would for a rich person. Now, that's just one example. The world is completely wacko. It is all about what the market will bear, even when the market, whatever the market will bear, has become unbearable. So if we could just act a little differently with real compassion, and if we would carry as our banner, either all of us matter or none of us do. Either all of us matter or none of us do. Now, maybe the nihilist would say none of us do. Fine. But if I matter, then you have to matter, then the homeless person has to matter then a Palestinian has to matter. Everybody has to matter. That means even a member of ISIS, because we're supposed to love our enemy, has to matter. Now, there isn't a more radical philosophy of life than that that has ever been put forth. Nobody has ever been asked to be that radical in the world, and that's what a follower of Jesus would be.